Does the thought of going out to eat stress you out? Have you ever stayed home from going out because you didn't want to go over on your calories or macros for the day because you're trying to lose one pound this week? If that's you, this is the perfect video for you. My name is Jordan Davies and I'm with Complete Performance here today to show you how to go out to eat while losing weight. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what you can do before you even leave for the restaurant to get ready for going out. Then I'm gonna show you the number one most important thing that everyone forgets about going out to eat. And then last, I'm gonna help you course correct in the event of maybe it didn't go as well as you planned and we need to have some flexibility. Let's talk about how you can prepare to go out to eat. What's something really simple that you can do that can totally alleviate the stress of going out to a restaurant? I mean it, it's really simple. All I want you to do is go to the internet on your laptop, your phone, or your tablet, and look at the, the menu of the place that you're going to. Yes, that does mean that you need to plan and you can't really shotgun where it is that you're going, but even if you did, you can look up that menu on the drive there or as you wait to be seated. Take a look at the menu. It gives you an idea of the style of cuisine. Is it Italian where it's gonna be a higher carb night? Is it Asian where there are typically higher sodium items in there? Or is it a restaurant where it has a lot of variety and you can really choose something great and high quality for you? The next thing we wanna do is start to pick up food items from that menu. I typically encourage clients to pick two to three items that they could select and stay on plan or on track with their diet. I also encourage them to pick one food item that's kind of a reach, something that they might really enjoy if they really are feeling it, something that they don't get very often or might be a non-negotiable. We're trying to pick things ultimately that have a protein source, that have a veggie source, and that have a higher quality carb or fat source in it. We're trying to avoid things like fried foods, French fries, onion rings. We're also trying to avoid really heavy creams or sauces that can really load up the calories. We want this to be enjoyable. So if those are part of your non-negotiables, I'm not telling you to cut them out. It's just something to weigh. Why we're trying to do this is because we're trying to eliminate decision fatigue. I know I've gone to the restaurant thinking I've got this. I know I'm going to just order a salad, call it good. No problem. It's like not even a night out. And then I get there and I see hostesses and waiters and waitresses bringing out food items. That I'm like, where did that come from? How can I have some of that? And before you know it, I'm getting pizza or pasta and I'm diving right in without two thoughts. We're trying to eliminate decision fatigue because the environment is tempting. We're also trying to do it because we want to take into consideration that we don't actually know what goes into the preparation of that. There are hidden calories that we're not quite aware of and we want to be as prepared for all of those as possible. Where's your favorite place to go out to eat? Drop a comment below. Let me know where you enjoy eating so I can make a video on how to help you prepare for that specific restaurant. Let's talk about the biggest difference maker in going out to eat. Something we all forget when we get the, into the restaurant setting. You are the customer. You can ask for things that you want. It doesn't have to be just that you have an allergy to something. It doesn't have to be because you don't like a certain food item. You can ask for your meals and your food items to be prepared in a certain way because you are the customer. Great businesses are going to accommodate you because at the end of the day, they realize, hey, this person pays a bill, they tip my waiters and waitresses, and they are part of keeping this business alive. Now, what I will say is that you do have to anticipate and expect that sometimes you're going to be told no, but it's always a no until you ask. If you want dressings on the side, ask for it. If you want lighter cheese, ask for it. If you would like to sub out a side salad for french fries, all you have to do is ask. 
it's pretty simple and most restaurants are more than happy to accommodate you. Don't be shy in asking. And the thing is, what I've learned is that most of these places have also already done this before. You're probably not the first person that night to ask for something that sounds a little bit like it's too much. Don't worry about being a bother to them. You're still going to pay your bill at the end of the night. You may have to pay a little bit extra for certain things like subbing a side salad for french fries. But you weigh the cost. Would you like to revert back to old habits? Or would you like to pay a dollar more for a side salad to help keep you on track and not feel bad about it tomorrow or the next day or the next? If you want to know more ways about how to set up your plate, how to really set your diet up so that you can totally enjoy going out to eat, click subscribe to this channel. Each and every week I'm posting videos to help you truly make this a lifestyle because I want to show more people how to lose body fat without totally giving up everything that they love. The last thing that we do need to address is what happens when we go overboard? What do we do? We need to be flexible. You have to remember that really when it comes to fat loss, it's about weekly calorie totals, weekly macronutrient totals. So if you went a little bit overboard tonight, pull a couple calories from the next day to even things back out. But it's okay. One night of going a little bit overboard on your diet doesn't make or break you. You can easily adjust and rebound from that. A couple of words of caution are that if you had a meal that maybe wasn't the highest of quality, had a little bit more sodium, processed foods, or calories, be aware that if you step on the scale the next day, you might be a couple of pounds up. It's totally normal. You didn't eat that many calories. Remember, it takes 3,500 calories above your maintenance level calories to gain a pound. There's no way that you ate 7,000 plus calories in one dinner on top of your maintenance level calories for the entire day. It's really difficult to do and you're going to be pretty uncomfortably full. Be aware of it. Know that you can be flexible enough to make these adjustments so that you can get right back on track and see some great long-term fat loss results. What do you do if you always feel like you're restricting yourself while out to eat? How do you include that into your lifestyle if you're still trying to lose body fat? Click the link in the description below to grab hold of the free guide to set up your non-negotiables. If you set up your non-negotiables, you're gonna be more than set to keep in everything that you love in life, lose body fat, and not feel restricted. Thanks for watching.